These cops go through life with care and ease. While one of my brothers pleads, I can't breathe. Ah! Punk, black. Wait, you must think I'm one of them sucker white boys, you goofy ass nigga. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Ah! Now, nah, nah, hold him still, hold him still, I got something for him. Be advised, I like big black men shaking their oily booty cheeks. Ah! My wife is the most beautiful woman on earth. The smell of panties, man. Ugh. What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie. Martin Luther King didn't die so that Mr. Oliva could be out here clapping Gorlock to destroy his booty cheeks on Black History Month. Like, I swear to y'all, on EDP's life, Baki is funded by the Cool Kids Club. If y'all don't believe me, I'm gonna go through every single black character's nigga lore, and we're gonna find out if black lives really do matter in Baki. So we start right here. The nigga shadow boxing his thoughts is the legend himself, Muhammad Ali. And he's jogging with what looks to be Scottie Pippen with a snapback on so tight his brain's about to fucking explode. Marcus Brownlee somehow with an even more fucked up high top than usual. And these two randoms in the back who decided to tag along for Black History Month. So this squad of severely pussy deficient men continue their sprint. And one by one, they just kept disappearing. At first, Muhammad thought Queso was behind them, swallowing them one by one like Pac-Man. But then he remembered. That nigga's in prison serving two counts of obesity. And he turned around and you drew f***ing Hanma is just standing there with his hands in his pocket playing with his dick. And you gotta remember, this is Japan in the 1980s. Black people are a foreign concept. This man, Yujiro's probably just looking at him like, Oh, nigga. So obviously they're about to have a nigga moment. So Ali swings up and look at him. He was literally in his own head dick riding himself. Boom, headshot dead. I'm giving criminal back shots to any nigga that move. Nobody can fight me. Except maybe Killer Mike. Bruh. But this man, Yujiro is just standing there with a the Roblox smirk face. I don't know how he dodged that shit. But Ali just says fuck it and starts smashing that hole button. And this man Yujo just crossing his ass up, had him diving from like a dumbass. Come on, catch me, you can do it. Just pretend I'm a Popeye chicken sandwich. That's gotta be racist. This man threw like five punches and is already out of stamina. Where the fuck did they find this nigga? Is this Muhammad Ali off Timu? This motherfucker came bundled with a rose toy. Anyway, so the black ancestors aren't about to have this nigga catching an L on Black History Month. So they hop on the comms like, I can't if I tweak that. So he enters the Nigatar state. That ass unlocked a new form and started glowing. I thought he was gonna go Super Nigga 3. So he swings and Yujo dodged that shit like he dodged his child support payments. The dude is literally laying on the floor. I don't know why he just don't start bouncing on his fucking cranium. But instead, he decides to piss his pants and do the little dirt thousand yard stare. Then you just said, you are not Rosa Parks, nigga. Move! And just flip this man completely! Anyway, so he grabs him and puts him back down. And I thought he was about to hit him with the meanest hard R slur filled combo since Keemstar. But surprisingly, you just starts glazing this man. Oh my god, I'm touching Muhammad Ali. I just, I just know you be fucking bitches. Can I tattoo your face on my back like that dumbass on Twitter with the IQ of a fucking swing set? Um, why is your dick hard? You fought against the system for those broke, no pussy, getting zero motion Africans. You fought against your own government for the sake of Vietnam. You fought to destroy racism in America. You're, you're just him, bro. Can you follow me back on IG? Look, look, I even put Black Lives Matter in my bio. Look, and Ali just hit this man with the lamello ball. I, I, I appreciate the dick writing, sir, but... I'll run it. And ever since then, Yujo Hanma's been fighting the battle against oppression. He even stopped trying to kill his son and became a Jehovah's Witness. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Bucky isn't even racist. Even super geniuses of fat racks in their pockets can be wrong sometimes. It's what they want you to think. Because then we meet this two elixir little nigglet. First off, how did you pop out your mom's coochie already fat as fuck? And look at his hairline. Oh my god. They didn't even give this man a chance, bro. It's just straight to the strawberry mint hair growth oil. And did the wife cheat on his ass? Little nigga looks more like Rod Wave than Muhammad Ali. And what makes it worse is that pocket Rod Wave fucking sucks. Somebody smell like shit. Look at those weak ass punches. He Put the fucking baby. I hear doing one damage. He might be healing him. But Yujiro wanted to be nice, so he started gassing him up. Ooh, ooh, kill him. Ooh, 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 kill him. Ooh. Ooh, killed him. Took one teensy weensy flick and he's crying like a blow pussy ass bitch. Stop crying. Ah. I busted nuts all across the globe, so you better get strong. My fatherless children are gonna need some comp. Put some tread in that little nigga's milk. I don't give a fuck. Just do what you gotta do to make sure you don't grow up into a bitch. So fast forward, and Ali Jr. took the advice. He said it's a new year, new me. But I'ma keep it 100,000. He's still the same nigga! But he ain't do nothing but step back. Only difference is that he grew up to look like fucking Phoenix off Timu. Like, I just hate this nigga. Like, what are you smiling for, bro? Nigga looks like he's been fondled with. 
customers. Like a fucking goofy goober. Like a regular customer at Winnie Hut Jr. This bitch ass. I'll give him props though, because he has balls the size of Shaquille O'Neal's bald ass head. Because now he's about to rematch Yujo clapping niggas booty cheeks Hanma. So he starts bouncing up and down, getting ready to fight, looking like Meek Mill getting ready to take some dick, allegedly. And Yujo just smiles and starts laughing like a hood nigga who just got their first set of grills. Furthermore, this Dorito built ass motherfucker was like, I'll say this before we begin. If I win, you gotta give me an infinite end pass. So Muhammad swings and bro. What is that form? This man is not the son of Muhammad Ali. He's the son of a random crackhead on the street. Anyway, so Yujo just takes a bite out of his glove and is like, mwah, mwah. Mm, tastes like oppression. And sends a skull busting roundhouse at dude, which had him making that post Chipotle trip to the toilet face. And Yujo's just like, ah, oh, good reflexes. But are you ready for this? And he gets down and pops his pussy for Obama. Why, right, come get me. What in the homosexual? I'm not fighting you. And Yujo's P. Diddy freak ass is like, what are you talking about? This is the ultimate move. Even your father couldn't overcome it during his fight. And Ali's just looking at him like, you 36! No one questions this shit because it's Yujiro Hanma. But this man is the ultimate unemployed nigga. Like it was 10 a.m. on a Wednesday morning and this man was in Antarctica fighting a fucking polar bear. Like nigga, get a job. Not to mention this dude is pushing 40 and left his son in a trap so old he gotta run out the house when he plays his music so his roof don't fall on him. Like you telling me this man didn't have time for his son but he got time to be out here spreading his legs open for random grown ass men. And he got his ball sack aroma sticking up the whole room talking about some come get me. So he just walks to the door and he's like, oh nigga, you <laughs> and Yujiro just fucking loses it. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> is that you? Um, um. Want a sprite, Grandpa? I'm not gay. I'm just a bisexual nigga for Atlanta. Look at the smell on this man's face. That's a W for Black History Month, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed his moment of black excellence because that was the only <laughs> time he showed that shit. Right after this, he went and got the black pride beaten out of his body by not one, not two, not three, but five big ass niggas, all for a single snow bunny. Are you serious, my brother? First, he called her on her celly talking about some. Did you fantasize by laying on your stomach and tuning that big old red ass up and spread and folding the big old red ass cheeks and long digging that pussy to the. Burning, 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 burning. So she immediately ran over to catch some BBC and all she found was this ashy ass nigga sitting here waiting for her. Like, God damn! This man is so ashy, his skin is screaming out to God, like, God! Ah! Please introduce this nigga to some lotion. Skin out here looking like SpongeBob when he's ready to die for Nash trying to clap Sandy's cheeks. Like, you're really trying to tell me they didn't know what they was doing when they animated this, my brother? Anyway, so she sits down and within four fucking seconds, is this freaky frog is like, I like white girls more better. Okay. Yeah. Especially so in a thick time. In no. other words, pog. Pod. Pog. P A W G. Badass white girls. It's no hope for you, brother. Go ahead and stay with her. You have been excommunicated from the African community. Okay, bunny hopper. He was ready to marry her and sentence himself to a lifetime of potato salad and various assorted cheeses. Also, that Baki would get mad and fight him. Anyways, before he leaves, he uses his sexual harassment to risk. Hey, where my hug at? Ew, you ashy ass nigga. Even Dora the fucking explorer is not finding your hug. Can you spot the lame nigga? Yeah. Should Kozue give him a hug? No! And this nasty nigga kissed her anyways! She tries to slap him and this man has the audacity to dodge it and say, You gotta be quicker than that, buddy. Now you gotta give props when you see him, man. That's that R. Kelly mentality. So in order to farm some XP, this man really posted one of those, Looking for a friendly fade, Tokyo area. We're gonna get ice cream after. And the first motherfucker to show up was this 75 year old needs assistance to wipe his ass. Old ass man. And I'm just sitting here thinking, holy shit, someone get this man in the ring with Jake Paul ASAP. Hey, can we hurry this up? My big booty Latino wife's cheeks are waiting to be clapped at home. I get seven heart attacks every time I nut, but it's so worth it. Anyway, he knocks the hemorrhoid out of his ass. Had him fall like, man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Then he fought Joe Rogan if he was off trend bologna sandwiches every single day. Knocked his ass out too. And after winning two fights, he was feeling himself. And you're probably at home watching with that last $5 in your pocket like a broke ass nigga. Agree with the dude. I can't blame you because when I first watched the shit, I thought he was cooking too. Until he met Jack fucking Hanma. He found this man in the middle of eating a meal that prime Nicocado avocados fat ass would eat. Except instead of dying at 40 because of fucking diabetes, he's gonna be dying at 30 because of steroids he's injecting to his fucking ass crack. Like this man just has a full inventory of eats. And look, he's full. Ooh, he's just eating for fun. He doesn't give a fuck about them hungry, hungry kids in Africa. Anyway, so Ali pulls up and walks into the biggest mistake, mistake of his lousy career. And he challenges Jack to a 1v1. And Jack's just like, Shut up, nigga. I'm eating. This motherfucker looks like Eminem and he just called me nigga. Hey, man, I don't think you should be saying that word. 
Nigga, shut your bitch ass up and let's go. So they go to the same warehouse that Playboy Cardi scammed Aiden in, and Jack didn't waste any time. He just took his shirt off and started swinging. He got straight weaved and got popped in the head, staggering his ass like an Elden Ring boss. And Ali Jr. is just landing all these game ending punches while Jack is just eating them and getting ready for his turn. And Ali Jr. is completely perplexed. He's like, um, excuse me, Elixir nigga. You should be asleep right now. But he didn't know Buff Eminem has a metal plate in his jaw. He eats that shit for breakfast. Do this, y'all, Hit him so hard he went flying into a pillar, had him remaking that fucking screaming emoji. While this man Ali is moving like his tummy hurt, Jack hits one of the most iconic T poses of all time and just starts slowly walking at this dude, Eminem playing in his own head like. Look at his fucking shoes. No brand, no color. This man just went to Walmart and grabbed the first thing he fucking saw. Why would you fight a nigga like this? This is someone who doesn't give a fuck about nothing. Anyway, so he tries to tackle Ali, but he got countered with a sky uppercut. But he has the same reaction every time, like Jinx. <laughs> Not bad, man. <laughs> Took another left hook. That don't work. <laughs> but fuck a smile to the camera, looking like that statue from Solo Leveling. Man proceeded to throw this man like he was a used condom. Had him bouncing off the concrete. Like, look what he did to this man. Had him upside down, looked like Miles Morales. Anyway, so at this point, he realizes he's cooked. So he genuinely starts rapping for his life. Cinnamon, cinnamon, all cinnamon, all venom, and hot venom, and cinnamon, all venom, and cinnamon, soft venom, and cinnamon, animal, give him an animal, animal, short venom, melanin, no melanin, oh melanin, oh melanin, all men are friends. <laughs> But there is no stopping this man. He's stopping him out. Turned his face into flat Stanley. And then stopped and took a look at him like... Mm. Oh, he's still breathing. And then started hitting the shoot on this man's fucking head. So now that Jack's 99% sure he's dead, he's like, Ah, right, good shit, I killed him. Now let me get out of here before the cops come. Oh, oh my kid, I don't care. I'm white. The black lives matter. Huh? <sighs> You'll never be the face of hip-hop. With that trash ass music. And that's when Ali heard boss music. So now Buff Eminem with hurt feelings jumps at Ali. Tries to hit him with a low suit but catches a right hook to the fucking jaw. Had him hitting the stanky leg. Then got his get back by punching Ali in the left leg as well. Now they doing the stanky leg together except Jack was ready to hit this nigga with a shot. Took him in mid air posing like Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Like he's just getting violated. Then he's still asking for more. Like this man might have a pain kink or something. Why is he still trying to fight? Niggas had nine and a half boo boo and got hit with a fucking fist to the skull. Turned his face into the top of Tyler One's head. And bro, look at his tongue, bro. He's never gonna see Popeyes the same again. So Jack feeling like his job is done, gets ready to leave. But this dumbass is still trying to fight. Punk so fucked up. He's out here sounding like Mike Tyson. Yeah, come on, man. Let's keep, let's keep going, man. But Jack just takes one look at him and is like, man, shut the fuck up and stream my music, bitch ass nigga. Mom's spaghetti. Knees weak, arms ahead. And he just walks off. Anyways, he runs back to the snow bunny and she's like, Oh my god, Ashy nigga, what happened? And he was like, Hi, you know, don't worry about it, shorty. You know what I'm saying? I was driving down my little Hellcat. Hey, shit. And I look out my window and there's a shorty getting harassed by like six big ass niggas. And I ain't about to sit there and just let that happen. You feel me? So I pulled out $10,000. Cause I just, I just be having that shit on me type shit. I threw it at him. No scope those niggas in the head. They fucking exploded. So, anyways, I saved the day, get back in my car. And then my diamond girl's diamond watch, everything just starts shining in my eyes, I crash into a tree. Let's chill, because I was just about to walk it off. Okay, shut the fuck up, nigga. We know you're lying. Uh, I need my get back. So they go out into nature. Gazer, gazer. And Ali's like, did you forget I already beat your ass, nigga? You got dementia? And Unk is just like, oh, you thought that was a real fight? <laughs> I just needed help knocking my hemorrhoid out. So they start fighting, and Unk immediately just substitutes and jutsus his pun. Puts bro straight into Skadoosh position, and it's like, Oh, I'm sorry, young whippersnapper. This gonna hurt like shit. And just snaps his finger and tosses him face first into a fucking tree. Had that man's face grinding on raw wood. Pause. Like P. Diddy grinds on male rappers. No pause. And Ali's looking at his finger like, Okay, one. Good. Okay, two. Good. Okay, three. Good. Okay, four. Nah. I'ma do my own thing. Fuck, I'm never hitting Immortal on Valorant. Wasn't giving him no time to rush <laughs> into the tree. Nah, I'm about to do you so bad. I'm putting this shit on Facebook. So Ali, not trying to get embarrassed on camera in front of all the sexy grandmas, tries to turn around and rub his broken finger on him. Unk just uppercuts him and then pops his head, smacks the back of his head into the ground so hard that bro got dizzy like he took a drink from Bill Cosby. And then proceeds to grab him by the broken <laughs> finger and just starts fucking smashing his head into various objects in his surroundings. Pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> that was a good workout. All right, man, I'm about to go clap my big booty Latino wife's cheeks now. And Unk just walks away, leaving this man on 2 HP. Didn't even leave him a chug jug or nothing. This man's diabolical. Oh my god, what happened this time? <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
So I was in my Bugatti. <gasps> so Joe Rogan came back and he wanted to get back as well. Didn't even give him a chance to pop a mini or anything, bro. He wanted his fade expeditiously. So he takes him to this random back alley, treating him like a GTA prostitute. And Joe Rogan's like, you know, you did knock me out one punch, but uh, I wasn't on DMT at the time. You know what I'm saying? So let's run that shit back. Now Ali's just looking at him like, nigga, I'm in a cast. Like I can barely move my body. Oh, so your pussy. <laughs> At this point, they're just taking turns bullying this nigga. Because what's he gonna gain from beating up a cripple? And look at this dumbass. He accepted the fight. At this point, I'm convinced someone needs to airdrop this nigga a brain. Why are you still fighting? Anyways, he swings first. Hits Unk straight on his forehead. And this nigga's hand snapped in half. What the fuck? Who gave Unk thorn mail? You see, any normal person who cherishes their ability to jerk off would have surrendered the match right there. But for some reason, Ali Dumbass Jr. desperately wants to end up like a reverse Joe Swanson. So he keeps fighting. I'm telling you, Dana White's a max level dickhead. Because he just starts spamming heavy attacks on this man's hand that's already on life support. Like, dog, just forfeit. This man clearly does not respect your love for Violet Myers. Like, nigga, are you about to cry? Anyways, he hits one of those bullshit Far Cry 4 healing techniques and just wraps up his finger like that's gonna do anything. But Unk hops up like, chill, my nigga, you're not Bruce Lee. You're doing way too much and just steps on his tim. That's like the ultimate disrespect you can do to a black man. I actually got this nigga mad as fuck. He starts swinging again, but at this point, his hands are as dangerous as a floppy dildo. All he's doing is hurting himself. So now Dana White successfully broken every limb in Ali Jr.'s body and he's like, well, my job's done here. Puts his all white suit on. Hmm. Wonder what that reminds you of. And walks away. But of course, they made him go back to the snow bunny. Like, dog, let it go. It's over. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fucked up. <laughs> we should have seen the other guy. Oh, uh, the other guy in question is currently chilling at full HP, yapping about DMT and ice baths. And he's still talking shit. He should have aimed for the head. Nigga, you should have went to the hospital. Anyway, so he goes up to finally rest. But no one is trying to let him get his HP up. Even his own dad. Ah, my son. Why have the people been telling me I tried to romance a snow bunny? This information cannot be true. Dad, come on. Everybody knows black girls are ratchet. I just smacked that taste of milk straight out that nigga's mouth for saying some dumb shit. Hit him so hard, he rebooted to factory settings. It's over, because now Unk Ali got the angry African rage boost. And all his attacks are now critical strikes. So Ali tries fighting back, but it's pointless. Unk Ali hits him with a two He's boom boom. And now Ali's seeing the light. Look at his face. You know this nigga about to call child protective services. Anyways, a true winter soldier never learns his lesson. So here he is about to have a final 1v1 against Baki Hanma, which is the absolute definition of coughing baby versus nuclear bomb. And then they said it's a fight to the death. Like, what is he thinking? So the fight starts and Baki's walking up all nonchalant. This whole arc, he's been pretending like he don't give a fuck about Ali trying to riz up his girl. Nigga even said, <laughs> The whole time he's been holding in his anger because BOOM! An uppercut had to be racially motivated. Hit him so hard he started looking at the lights like You are my sunshine LeBron, is my that you? Anyways, he gets back up and he's like <laughs> You messed up, you should have killed him when you had the chance Cause now I'm gonna fuck you up Punk ass black bitch Wait, you must think I'm one of them sucker white boys, you fucking goofy ass nigga. And Bucky is genuinely about to make this nigga a hashtag until his daddy came in to save the day. And to make matters worse, after the fight, dude was on his knees crying, not even because he got turned out by five different niggas, disowned by his father, and has the Smash Bros haircut of hell. He's crying because the Snow Bunny rejected him. Now I'm telling y'all, Bucky does not give a fuck about black lives. They humiliated this man. Everything I said in this video was a joke. I am not a racist. I am not a black supremacist. Leave a like for part two. Love y'all. Peace.